Hello there everyone, welcome to Animal Crossing 365 day playthrough. My name is Luna, as if you already do not know. I do this thing where I upload an Animal Crossing video every single day for like a year, and it's crazy and stupid and no one likes it, alright? <laughs> but what is up? Um, it's actually early in the morning, it's 7.40 a.m. Usually Animal Crossing people like to talk shiz about me since I don't, uh, you know, play at the time that they kind of like, so... Um, they could, uh, you know, blow me, I guess you could say. Um, I'm just gonna hunt the animals and eat them. Why not? We'll do what that, we'll, we'll do what the, that, that, um, that mom letter said to us, uh, a couple days ago. Where she's talking about don't eat your animal friends. That was weird. Alright, let's see. There's Bella. Hello, Bella. Bella, Bella. Oh. Oh, sweet. Look who's here, Luna. Let's cheer. Give me a, uh, letter. Yay! Did you sleep well? I did. I slept like a big sleepy log. So speaking of which, you probably need something from me, huh, Eeks? Got any gossip? I gotta ask you, Luna. Do you get evaluated by the HRA? Yeah, they talk crap about my house every single week on some days. And they never stop. And, and it will never stop. I do. I was what? Uh, um, I was matching everything in my room and I got 4,000 points. Believe it or not. I'm good at setting stuff like that, Eeks. Oh boy. The HRA. They sound like a terrible tax company. But what is it yesterday? When I was look when I was finding uh when I was looking at what what's in the seasons of Animal Crossing and all those wonderful things, like what what's there to do in the fall? There's absolutely nothing to do in the fall. Uh absolutely nothing fall is the deadest time. Of the year in Animal Crossing, the only thing that happens is in mid mid October. I can't, I can't, I don't know exactly what date it is, but it's mid October, and there's this acorn festival, and normal trees had these acorns, and you could do this thing. It's like an acorn search. I don't know. It's it's odd. I guess I'll plant some normal acorn trees, but as you can tell, the time right now. It's 7.42 a.m., so I, I can't really do anything right now. Uh, absolutely nothing. Uh, just walk around and plant, see if I can talk to anyone. I know Butch is still still sick, which is good, because I put a voodoo curse on him, and I hope he dies. But there was one thing that was actually, well, when I was looking for the seasons, I found something weird. I found this little myth thingy. I don't know if it's a myth. It, it was in a wiki, and then it was in message boards, and Animal Crossing message boards. And pretty much what it was saying, it was saying that you could have one of your Animal Crossing fellows, you know, opposite gender, um, fall in love with you if you send them red roses in letters. Which is odd, you know, when you think about that. Why would they do that, do something like that in a kid's game? But yet, there's some dark stuff in here, like eating your Animal Crossing friends that your mom sends a letter of. So it's kind of, it's odd, thinking about it, you know. So I don't know if that's that's a thing. I would have definitely, you know, tried that back when with that one, that one, that one uh, person. But you know, guys, give me what you want me to do on Friday. If there's nothing that you want me to do on Friday, then there's not gonna be any videos. So screw you guys. Now, <laughs> tell me what you want to do. Well, what you want me to do on Friday, and uh, I'll try to the best of my ability to do so. I've been doing almost everything that you guys tell me. I think I've been doing everything you guys been telling me to do. So it's like, um. I'm not being a dick to not doing them, so... Wow, three in a row, huh? It's called a ham bone! Alright, let's see. Ugh. Surprisingly outside, it is a little bit humid. It is, but there is a deep fog outside. The Silent Hill kind of fog. And the monsters are, are gonna come and the, then stab people in the face, which is terrible. Even though Silent Hill is person is made for people who do terrible things, and it's supposed to be their own personal hell to relive the things that they do to people. Like there's this one thing called Big Daddy, and I believe it's in. I was about to say Final Fantasy three. What? It was in. Um, I was about to say Van Helsing three. What is going on here? 
It was in Silent Hill 3, I believe, or Silent Hill 4, Silent Hill 3. It's the one with the guy, I can't recall his name, he's, he's trying to find his wife. His wife is, he gets a letter from uh, Silent Hill and his wife's apparently there. He's trying to find her. You know, there's this dick kid and, you know, he's a jerk. And then there's this weird girl who was sexually abused when she was a little kid. And, um, all this wonderful stuff. And then you save her from this thing called Big Daddy, which is pretty much this big monster. Which is supposed to be her father or uncle sexually molesting her. And that's her, um, like, fear epitomized within the Silent Hill personal hell. And, like, it's in a room full of pistons. And it's very symbolic and very disgusting when you really think about it. It's not something you should be talking about in an Animal Crossing game, I guess you could say. Let's talk about Animal Crossing stuff. This is a, a apple tree. This is a flower. Uh, um, still don't understand what people want me to do when they talk about Animal Crossing. Oh, looks like a dig spot. Well, hold on. Let me run into it just to see if it's not going to... Oh, that's a trolling one. Well, at least use it and not abuse it, you know? Alright, screw you, Mr. Fox. I don't know what your name is. Fox McCloud. Um, you don't get a name. You don't deserve to have your name memorized by me because you suck. Hello, Pelly. How you doing? You were like the first one I seen when I came to Astaria. Alright, the environment. Mm-hmm. Perfect town. Perfect town. I'm gonna kill everyone in this town. I'm gonna take... <laughs> I'm gonna detach. I'm gonna duct tape. I'm gonna do something. And I'm, I'm gonna make radishes or make a radish rope and just attach it to my, um... Wonderful bug net and, uh... Attach an axe to it and just swing it furiously and vigorously, chopping up everyone in its way, killing everyone in Astoria, as I do it with a happy face. You see that happy face? Oh, happy days. Little do they know that they're living with a disgusting murderer. <laughs> the Astarian murderer. Which reminds me, I haven't actually checked that story that the person actually based off on my town. Or based off conversations on my town. It was very weird. It's one of those weird fetishes thingies. And I know. And uh. You know like those fan fictions. Yeah. Yeah. Just fan fiction. You, you're, you should already know what to expect when I say fan fiction. It's. They're all bad. They may be good to you. Because you know. You like it. But they're all bad. That's what Fifty Shades of Grey came out to be. It was a weird thing of Twilight, and then it got turned into its own movie soon. So, yeah. Bud, get out of here! Come on, Anor, you're hiding behind buildings. He's the Astarian Creeper. And I must take justice on oh, Take justice on him! Make your glasses fall off. Don't you dare look at me. Yes, look at the person who's smacking you in the face. Whoa, you have ojos. You're doing a brock here. Better check yourself, fool. Oh, yeah, well, bud, you're like cotton nail tissue. Because you know what? Because you S-A-W-F-T-S-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-